Hello, I am Dr. Coley Morgan, lecturer in Digital Archaeology and Heritage. We are sat in the Digital Archaeology and Heritage Lab that I direct. And I am also the director of the MSCs in Digital Archaeology and Digital Heritage. I really enjoy directing the Digital Archaeology and Digital Heritage Master's degrees. I think they're incredibly unique offerings within a really wide field. They're very flexible in that you can make your own degree to a certain extent and engage with other topics besides digital archaeology. We have had students who specialize in 3D reconstructions of castles also that look at social media such as TikTok and Facebook and Twitter but also very technical degrees in digital archaeology in that they look at GIS and they look at landscape and some computational archaeology as well. I think being in York is actually particularly useful to the digital master's degrees in that it is a UNESCO City of Media Arts which is fantastic and there is a lot of capability within the university for digital storytelling, mixed reality, virtual reality, such as XR Stories, which is an immersive digital storytelling lab, and the Digital Creativity Lab, which has hosted a number of collaborations and students over the years. And there's just so much within York of the historic fabric. You can make films of our beautiful historic environment, or you can engage with any of the incredible institutions that we have here in town. York Archaeological Trust, York Museums Trust, the Council for British Archaeology, the list goes on and on. And we often have placements that work with those institutions directly. Our digital archaeology and digital heritage master's students find jobs and PhDs all over the place. We have had people go into funded PhDs in Bath and Oxford. We have had people win Fulbright Prizes and that are currently studying PhDs at Stanford. Also very practical skills as well. We have a lot of people that work for LP Archaeology as GIS specialists and fascinatingly we actually have one of our master's students, a recent graduate working at the York Minster making 3D models of all the statuary and the gargoyles to help the stonemasons work on the Minster. In our digital programs, students can expect to learn both the practicalities of digital media creation and use for analysis and visualization within archaeology and heritage, but also what I think our unique offering is some of the more critical elements and the theory-based elements in using digital archaeology and digital media. So why are we using these methods? What are they good for? Is there other ways we can actually use and present these data? So I think that our students come out extremely well-rounded and conversant not only with the techniques but also with the theory behind the techniques.